In this demo, we're going to cover how the Remote Geosystems GeoDVR, or Geospatial Digital Video Recorder, and Line Vision software can be used for security and law enforcement purposes. Before we get started, just want to explain a little bit more about the GeoDVR. Uh, this is a multi-channel geospatial digital video recording device. So this would actually sit inside the aircraft. Uh, it can be used as it is uh, in standalone mode as we call it. So without a monitor, um, if you're using this without the monitor, you have a internal GPS receiver, you have an external antenna here, and you have a start stop recording button and a drop waypoint button. When your cameras are connected, all the video channels are recorded to the solid state hard drive, which is removable, and can then be hooked to your computer to put together um, the report in line vision software, as we're going to show you today. This can also be used with a monitor uh, in the aircraft or vehicle. Um, we prefer a touchscreen monitor since you get a lot of options for start and stopping the record in that way. Uh, you can also drop waypoints. There's some other features and functionality uh, that you get with a monitor attached to it as well. So a lot of people are actually uh, moving that direction. So what does this do? Once we've pulled the data off of the GeoDVR, we can put it on the map. And I'm just going to move my map over here a little bit here. So as we can see, we've got a red track on the map. And we have this uh, black line, which will actually turn to yellow here shortly, um, as a cursor showing us where the video was recorded at this time. We can also click anywhere along this track to queue up the video. And here we can see we're following a yellow truck. Again, if I wanted to queue up the video, I could click ahead, or I could click behind. So we're actually using the mouse and the map to navigate our video. Now we also have the ability to add photos to our project. So we went and selected the photos. These are going to be added to the map. And let's just do a quick zoom to so we can see them on the map. I'm going to close out of this video from the other location we were looking at. And yes, I can see there's a burnt car here. Maybe I want to get a little bit more uh, visual information on what's going on on the map here. So I'm going to come in here and actually add some satellite imagery. All right, I can see that this car is probably on a right away. So I'm going to come in here and um, since I got the photo, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to add an annotation where I can then put in a uh, police report. And we put in stolen car burned in the right away. Let's go ahead and add a document. I have a police report template here I'm going to add and say OK. So we can see here's an annotation. We can also get to that annotation by clicking right there. And we see that we have the stolen car burned in right away. Well, let's go ahead and open up this document that we added earlier. And we're going to put in car theft, and maybe we'll just put in kind of a fake address here right away uh, and fill out the police report. We can save this, and that becomes part of our geo project here. Now, just for a second, I want to go back uh, to where we recorded this video and walk through a scenario where we're looking for a stolen car. Um, so let's actually pull this up. And right here we have an annotation. I actually zoom to that annotation. And we put this annotation here because this is the parking lot where the car was stolen. And so we've got a report here from uh, March 15th, 2016, showing the stolen Audi uh, A6, 2006 Audi A6, and it's silver. And, of course, we have that picture as well of this stolen vehicle. And we also have our police report. All right. So car theft, South College Avenue, and Audi, serial number, so on and so forth. Okay.
Well, maybe uh, as we go through this uh, project here, we have a list of uh, known um, chop shops is the slang word uh, some people use, but uh, places where they uh, steal cars and take them apart for the parts. So let's go ahead and add some pictures to our project here of some known chop shops. And we've actually captured these pictures from the air in a previous patrol. All right, so I have this one here. I'm going to close out of that again. And actually, let's go back and take off the satellite imagery so we can get a better idea of the streets around us. So we're going to go back to our streets map here. And in looking at this particular chop shop, you can see it's right there by the highway. We happen to be flying over here to the, uh, well, I would say the east of it, as we're filming this capture. Here's another chop shop in the area. And I should go ahead and say this is a demonstration. Any content viewed in this is for demonstration purposes only and should not be considered evidence in any crime whatsoever. Again, very much demo content here. So, but these are our make-believe chop shops. We got one here, here, and here. Well, let's say we're going to go out and try to find uh, where this Audi might be located. So um, we're going to go out, we went with our GeoDVR, we captured some new information uh, during an investigation looking for this car using our GeoDVR. So let's go ahead and put that new video into our Geo project here. We simply come here and we say open video and we navigate to where that particular video file was. In this case it's right here. And here's our new video on the map. And we'll just zoom to that real quickly. All right. Well, we can see, uh, just like we saw in our previous video, that anywhere along this track, we can click and queue up the video. But let's just go back and correlate the video to, uh, say, one of these images. Okay, so I clicked on that uh, image that we had previously, and now we see that represented as green. And then we can select that part of the video to see if this is maybe where this car is located. And let's say that we do see something that might resemble uh, an Audi, a silver Audi that we're looking for. And so we can snap an image here. And then we can zoom to. And we're going to pretend for a moment that this is a silver Audi. Let's save this picture. And we'll just save this real quickly to our desktop, actually in this folder, and we'll say found. So then maybe we want to come back and then add that picture of the found vehicle. To the project, and so now we have that picture in there as well. And maybe we come in here, add an annotation, and we say found 2006 silver Audi A6. And let's go ahead and update our document from the original police report. And so now we have that document in there. Let's open it up. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and uncheck missing. And we're going to say partial recovery because we do not know the condition that the vehicle's in yet. So we select partial recovery. We save this. And that is now part of our project. Well, 
I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the original police report uh, because we now know where that vehicle is. So I'm going to come in here and remove this item. I'm also going to remove this uh, original video here because we don't really need that as far as uh, going and reporting uh, our findings for this investigation. And likewise, uh, since this was a different chop shop, we're going to go ahead and remove that. And we can continue to remove these items until we really only have what we need for our investigation. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of all that. But what we do have is a report from an earlier investigation. We've got a picture of a chop shop, which we're going to remove that one too, actually. And we've got our video from this new investigation. We've got our photo showing the parking lot where we found the Audi. And we have our updated police report. And so that we can keep all this uh, data together and organized, we're going to do what we call uh, a geo project. So we're going to save all this as a geo project. And we've already given it a name of security demo. And so what that allows us to do is close out of this project and then open it back up. So we'll come back into our software, and we want to review this case at a later date or time, or to use it for training or something like this. We can just simply come in here and say, open the remote geo project file, and there's our security demo. And we've got all the information from before. And that'll conclude this demo.